So let's have a seat and let's listen, okay? We, mm -hmm. So today for our special, we have what? What's in front of you? Um, popping. These bubble are? Bubble paper. Yeah, bubble wrap paper, right? Mm -hmm. So um, what are we going to do? You, you each choose a color. So let's say we have, what color is this? Yellow. So we'll have yellow. We'll have, what color is red. this? We'll have red. And we will have blue. blue. So everyone will choose one color. I want blue. Okay. I, want, I want yellow. Blue, red. yellow, and red. And what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze a little. So maybe I'll help you with that part on your bubble paper. And we are not going to touch the paint. And oh, I know. You can move it around like this. Paper! Well, yeah, good idea. What do you think we're going to do with the paper? Mm -hmm. Um, paint with it. Okay, let's see. Let's pour our paints. Can I do it? On our bubble wraps. And... We will spread the paint using the paint brushes, okay? This one. So try to cover most of your bubble wrap, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. How does it feel painting bubble wrap? Does it feel the same as you painting paper? No. 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 How is it different? Because bumpy right because and the bubble bu yeah it's not flat like paper it's a flat surface right it's straight and the bubble paper it's, it's bumpy not it's oh, not I straight it's bumpy what, gonna do today. what do you think i'm gonna paint this all and flip it on the paper oh that's one way to do it yeah we will go do something similar Okay, I almost covered my whole paper. Almost, you still have yeah, a little bit I left on this side. My whole paper. Yeah, you have your other paper to cover too, also. So, what did you notice about these two? Are both bubble wraps, right? I you see this one no paint. and I'm this one. Going one smaller. Yeah, very good. So, if you see, this bubble wrap has big bubbles, right? Mm -hmm. And this one has, has very little bubbles. So we'll see that on our paper once we complete our painting. So if you finish coloring this one, move on to the bigger bubble now. Will this be enough for it? Yeah. You could do the you can do the bigger one now. Let me just take a little paint from here because that's so much. That's okay. This one will be way harder to paint because it's so big. Is, is the bigger I one? I for this. Okay. Is the bigger one harder to paint? Mm -hmm. Why do you think so? Easier. Why do you think it's harder, Ryan? Because it's a huge space between them and, it, and the paint gets like They have bigger gaps in between? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how about the bubbles? Are the bigger bubbles easier to paint or harder? Harder. Why? Because these are so close to each other, and these are so far, and also... Are they more fluffy? They're more fluffy, and they go down. Yeah, so they're more bumpy. Oh. I think you might need some more paint on yours, too, on your big one, Sarah. Mm. So let's fill up a little bit more here, so you can paint. Oh, look, I yeah. still need more paint. I definitely want to paint it. Okay, let's add a little bit more on this side, on the yellow, and Ryan, you would like some more paint too? Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay, well, let's add more on this side so you can spread it out. I can't, I just spread it out. Well, just do your best, it doesn't need to be perfectly covered. Sugar, don't even wait for paint. You have it pretty covered pretty well. No. Yeah, you're doing a good job, Eve. 
You will see on the paper that it's perfect. Not every bubble has to be covered. Just what you have is perfect. So can I have your paintbrush now? No. I want every bubble. You want everyone to be covered? Okay. Whoever is ready, I can take the paintbrushes and I can explain you what to do next, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be Susan. Okay. How about you, Sarah? Are you almost ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. I'll yeah. take the paintbrush. Yeah. So what are we going to do? You know how you had the idea of taking the bubble wrap and flipping them onto paper? Mm -hmm. We are going to do something a little bit different. That way you get to feel. I know. Let me put this on top. So, um, so we're going to place the paper on top of your bubbles. And now squeeze them. Everywhere you feel bubbles, squeeze them onto your paper. Okay. And now... Ryan, if you're done squeezing, you can flip your paper, paper over. Yeah. yeah, move the bubble wrap down. Perfect. And now let's put that here. And look what you made. I'm done. Do you see the difference of bubbles on your paper? Mm -hmm. Which one was the bigger? Which one was the smaller? Mm -hmm. This one is bigger. bigger. Down. You don't need to pop it. You just press it gently like this, and then when you're done, you just pick up your paper. Whoa. Let me see yours. No, wow! No, can I flip it? That's beautiful. No, can I flip it back on? Yeah, you can do that. That's beautiful. You ready for your paper, Eve? Yes. That came out so pretty. Now can we, I'm going to now put can it here. Do another one with different paint things. You want to do one more? Hello. Yeah. After I'm done with Can you. I put it yeah, on? Yeah, I'll get you. Here. So place this on your bubbles. I'll take some red. And press. Oh, you didn't press this side. Let's see when Eve picks up hers. How it looks. Actually, I want to. Are you ready to pick up yours, Eve? Let's lift up your paper. Eve has yellow again. Wow. Nope, I want blue. Uh, yeah, Eve will get a different color. Can you tell on your paper, Eve, which one had the smaller and which one had the bigger bubble wrap? Smaller, bigger. Yeah, how can we tell? Because I can see the big ones on the Right? Dots. Yeah, all the dots made an imprint on the paper. Very good. So we'll let these dry, okay? 